Okay guys, so Pinball Emporium Release 10 have just been released and I just wanted to make a quick video to show you guys how easy and quick it is to install and get everything set up. This is not the walk you through kind of install video. This is strictly just to show you what's going on, what's happening, and I'll show you a couple features while we're in here. So, all right, here's our Pinball Emporium folder. Here's our install folder. We're gonna launch install we got here. We're gonna run through the the uh, install as quick as possible. Like I said, we're gonna kind of um, ignore, I'm gonna ignore talking through everything, but I've already uninstalled everything. This is a fresh version of Windows, so I'm gonna skip this, but you should not. Um, I did this just before this. So we're gonna uninstall, everything's uninstall. FX2 and FX3, you know, we downloaded it. We ran, I've ran it at least once. Let's find Steam. Like I said, I'm going to run through this quick. You should watch the install and display setup video if you want to actually follow along. Don't try to follow along to this. So I know my Steam folder's in here. Drag it in here. All right. Now I need my Steam library fo folder. Mine's not in the same location. Mine is in my D drive. So I'm going to go in there. Drag my Steam library folder in here. Hit enter. All right. This is going to be mostly for our two screen setup. I'm going to hit enter. Let's do its thing. FX3 is done. Future Pinball. It gives us our installation. You won't install it in the wrong location anymore. It won't let you launch if you try if you install it in the wrong in the wrong uh, location this time. That was a big. Uh, if you had the uh, the wrong path, uh, it would still launch. Now it won't let you do that. I accept. I accept. Next. Delete that. Control V. Hit enter. Already exists. Yes, we know that. I don't want to start menu icon. Delete. I don't want desktop. Like I said, this is the super fast install uh, video. I'm going to turn up my mic volume a little bit. All right. Band gets launched. Yes, we do. So. So again, check out the install and display setup video if you want to slowly go through everything and make sure you got everything. That's not what we're doing here. I'm showing you how fast you can install this software. All right, time to launch it. Oop, it would help if I hit enter. What are we at? We're at two and a half minutes. All right, we're cruising. All right, Future Pinball is launching. I've done this so many times, I could you know, do it in my sleep. So. Don't try to follow along. <laughs> All right, future pinball launched. I exited. Hit enter. Copying some files. Registry changes. Yes, yes, yes. Future pinball's done. Visual pinball X. Don't install a toolbar. There's your location. Hit the next button. Again, same thing. Delete the path. Control V. Paste the new path in there. Got to go through here. Who thinks I can get this all done in under five minutes? We're at three and a half right now. We're pretty close. We're gonna multitask, because I know. I guess we're not gonna multitask. And go to my display settings. Ooh, my monitors are switched. Which one? Identify. My main monitor is two, okay. Uh, plot thickens. Identify. Okay. 100%. 150%. Alright. So you want to make sure both, both your monitors are at 100%. And close out of that. Well, I'm doing a two, two screen setup, so that's why. Yes, we're going to have a back glass. It's registered. You can skip this. We'll take care of all this later. Don't even worry about it. All right, VPX is done installing. Now time to launch it to do whatever it does. Oop, I think we're just on a different monitor.
click past that. Click past that. You can't see it. I'll show you. We'll switch views really quick. Oh no. Let's see. Back glass. There you go. As you can see, it's on my back glass. Again, we'll take care of all this later. I'm going to hit OK. Again, more registry edits. Visual pinball is done. Oop, let me get back to the single screen so you guys can see what's going on. Okay. Pin up. Let's get the pin up stuff taken care of. We're done with that. All right, create some shortcuts. We got our shortcuts on our desktop now. All right. I don't want to enter the start folder just yet. Okay. All right. I'm going to launch Droid Key. Again, don't follow along. You won't be able to keep up. All right. Droid Key is taken care of. We are doing a cabinet setup. Um, we do want help discovering our ID numbers. So I'm going to hit yes. And I'm going to launch this on display two. Because I think this is display two, which is going to be my main display. So let me switch over. Okay, as you can see, it launched on display two. Display two is my play field. Now I know. We're gonna go back. We're gonna hit D for done. We're gonna say we're doing a two screen setup. Again, this is just going over, making sure you have everything organized. I wanna double check that my two screen is my uh, main. All right, so 1920 by 1080. Two. Oh, I'm over time. 1920 by 1080. One. Is everything correct? Yes, it is. Do it all. FX2, you're going to have to enter in the information manually, so here's the calculations for you. I'm going to hit OK. Do some registry changes. All right, now time for the device DMI. DMD, not DMI. We're running through this. All right, to the left, to the right. Uh, here's our displays. My display number is actually already in here. So I'm gonna select all of this. I'm gonna hit Control C to copy. I'm going to go to the bottom of my DMD. We're going to paste it in here. Hit Command S to save. Command V to paste if you didn't know that. Okay, we're done with that. Now it's checking the back class. Kind of what we just did, but a little different. So, so you guys can see. We want to make sure our back class appears in that top right window. If everything is correct. There we go. Our back class is in the top right window. So, here, there you go. Now you can see the play field. All right, we're going to head escape. We're going to go back to uh, single display so we can finish this up. Did the back glass look correct? We're going to hit yes. Y for yes. Boom. Nine minutes, six seconds. We were able to completely set up 300 tables for a two-screen setup with hopefully no zero issue. <laughs> All right, we're gonna hit zero to exit. We're gonna hit nine to exit the installer. And we're done, guys. We have installed Pinball Emporium. We look here, here's all our stuff. We can go, I think I've loaded, Joy to Key got loaded, right? Yeah, there it is. We're gonna close that. We're gonna switch to a two screen view for you guys. And we're gonna launch. Takes a little bit of time that first time, but we should be coming up. Woo!
there you go guys pinball emporium release 10 is all set up turn down this volume so you can hear me okay we have uh if you chose to do the table install um we haven't really added any tables but all your favorites are still there we now have collections so here's your normal pin up tables your vpx tables your future pinball tables your pinball fx3 we're going to sk skip by here but now we have all the collections that are built into fx3 now keep in mind all tables are going to appear even if you uh, don't own the tables so you can go through there and we'll do a video later on how to kind of remove things but all the collections are there star wars universal marvel fox bethesda um, and then we have other collections that we've manually created so we have our stern tables and this is between um, future pinball and uh, fx pinball i'm sorry not fx pinball vpx pinball uh, we have our Sega and Data East tables, which I believe Data East bought Sega, or Sega bought Data East for their pinball stuff. Um, we have our Bally and Williams tables. We have our purely original tables, so ones that aren't based on other tables. Uh, we have our video games tables. We have our TV tables. We have our terror tables, which is horror, but terror looks cooler. Uh, our sports tables we have music tables we have kids tables and we have our films tables so and back to the all now this is not an, a feature that is automatically turned on but if you go into your pinball emporium folder we're gonna go into collections and we're gonna go into our main and if you go to the menu text file, we're gonna click in here. And I'll add this at the end. So I'm gonna type in MAME here. So if we type in MAME, and now we launch Pinball Emporium. I love the new intro. Don't you guys? Sorry, I just realized I was sideways. I'll, uh... And now, here are vertical um, MAME games. Um, Arch Cage, which you've seen them in our Discord, has was nice enough to supply these for us and kind of go through them and make sure they all worked. So, you know, make sure you give them a big shout out for doing this for us. But uh, you can now add any emulator you would like to Pinball Emporium. And this is just an example of adding MAME to the Pinball Emporium. So, that's a great new feature. But, you know, everything's set up for you guys. You're ready to go. Like, even, you know, here, we'll launch, you know, we'll launch X-Men. Oh, look at our new loading screen. I forgot about this. This was another uh, recommended uh, user uh, piece. So, this is great. We have a new loading screen. So, you know, things are happening in the background. Once it loads, it's thinking your DMD is already in the right place. Your videos are playing. You are ready to go. You know, you can add some coins in here. I'm streaming, so it's a little slow, but you probably can't hear the. Uh, I have the audio down a little low, but there you go, guys. You're ready to go with all these tables. Um, download link is below install video link is below but I just wanted to show you guys this make sure you take you know if you're wondering about controls read me files guys read me <laughs> it's there for a reason uh, you can see the change log see what's going on but at the bottom here you can see um, what keyboard commands uh, match what so this will tell you how to add uh, add uh, table to your favorites and that kind of stuff so, anyway, that was a quick roundup of Pinball Emporium Release 10. This is a huge update, guys. You guys are going to love it. Uh, please come to the Discord and say hi. Let me know if you guys run into any issues. I hope not. We, would, we really went through this thing and tried to bug track everything we could. So, enjoy it. 
go watch some of the you know the weekly table videos and uh, get some more tables. I know uh, VP Universe just went down for maybe for good, but um, there are plenty of other options in there, and we link those in our FAQ on the Discord. So, as I said, enjoy, guys. Enjoy Pinball Emporium. Let me know what you guys think. Comment below. Come to the Discord. Whatever. Pass it to your friends. Anything. Um, all right. Thanks a lot. Enjoy.